right, all right. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Dre. Of course, I'll be your captain tonight if you allow me to. And we are here on the Dre Sanchez YouTube channel, back in DCS through the Inferno server Syria map, flying with a couple of homies. We got Leo Sticks 86, who's also streaming right now. So go give him a big what's up on his channel. Check in if you don't mind. And we also have our good friend Cajus, who will be flying with us all the way from the UK. He joins us. He flies with us sometimes at Blue Games and mornings on Friday. So guys, we're doing a cat mission. We're here at Inkrick Field. And we're going to see what we can get into. Leo will be number one. I'll be number two. Cajus will be number three. Capital O, capital G, capital O, capital D. Thank you for waking us up today and blessing us with life. Thank you for my family, dear Lord. And thank you for safety and security, of course. Big up to my lovely wife, my kids, and my swagger who's currently here visiting here for two weeks. And big up to you guys out there, man. I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope that uh, you guys have had a great uh, eventful, in a good way, weekend. And if not, then that means you're getting some R&R, &R, and that's great, too. So for the time being now, let's go ahead and get on this plane here, this jet. <laughs> Take a look and see what we got going on before we stop the music. And we'll just do, we can see we're here in a hangar and uh we are looking good here we've got a nice little livery on here we've got our nice little desert tan uh flight suit on of course and we are loaded up guys if you take a look we've got a targeting pod down there which is station five right we got a center line bag station five stations three and uh seven of course we've got uh definitely some gbu 12s and then you can see on the inner pylons there i believe it's four and eight on the other side we've got some uh cbu 97s and of course on the wing tips as well as the stations just next to the wing tip those are 120 c's so guys let's get on the plane here and get it all squared away for the time being let's go ahead and shut our music down so that we can focus on being truly professional and getting the bird all the way uh crackalacking of course so again welcome to the stream let's go ahead and jump on board here and first and foremost let me refresh my track out there we go let's get this uh bad boy closed down here you can see there's the, uh, I think that's one over there. You can see his aircraft there. We'll go ahead and close the door. Let's get the battery. Two clicks to the on position. And let's uh, put the parking brake up because she will roll. Parking brake is up. And let us go for the engine start. Discord side, y'all got me. Got you five by five yes. on Discord. Starting the engine up now. <clears throat> okay, I was just gonna say, uh, yeah, everybody's cleared to start. And where are we going? Two five seven. Two five seven. And if you look out your uh, to the right of your cockpit, you'll see me in the hangar because I got you visual at my one o'clock. Yes, sir. We are looking right at you since the stream start. We are looking right at you, big mm -hmm. bro. All right, Roger that, my G. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start up, and I'll meet you. Comms check you on uh, two five seven. Roger okay, that. See you in a minute. In. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, which server are you guys on? We're on the Through the Inferno Syria server, and we're at Inkrick. You'll see our names there uh, at Inkrick uh, in F-16s. And what's up, money? What's cracking? Hey, one. It looks like we got another one joining, baby. Roger that. Roger that. That thing sounds sexy from my point of view starting up, bro. Oh, man. They do. This is a great sounding aircraft, bro. Okay, let's get all of our uh, avionics powers on. This bottom right uh, console, that's what we're doing, is the avionics power. So basically, easy enough. Everything goes into the north position. This goes into the right, and then stored heading will come on. And now the DED is, <coughs> excuse me, doing its alignment. Let's uh, tone that down a little bit, which is this is what I'm talking about. While the alignment is happening, uh, we're going to go ahead and get our standby horizon all squared away there and we got 9,100 pounds of fuel um, let's 
also come down here and turn our peripherals on. And for our HUD data that we want, we'll just put this in the radar altimeter. Throughout the flight, we will put use this knob right here and go all the way two clicks to the north, and that'll allow us to have our DED information repeated here, especially if we got an air refuel, which we hope we do well. Uh, we can also get our countermeasures on. D champs in the house, man. What's up with you, big homie? Good to see you, brother. Hope you're doing well. And we are going to be doing a few things here before we get going. Let's also get our IFF on, of course, and we should be aligned by now. Okay, almost, and I think that's going to be Cages right there. He's going to be flying uh, C next to us for some defense, so that's Cages right there. Flying the F-18. D-Champ, how you doing today, man? We can't wait to see you in DCS at some point, homie. All right. Okay, guys, you see it's aligning, flashing, and it's flashing ready. Now we can come down here and put this two clicks to the right to the nav mode. And now we are 100% in the nav mode. Here, we're going to get rid of the information here and Dobbler left. <coughs> and now we can go to our comms one and put in the frequency of 25700. Enter. Comms check 257. Take a mic. And he says, yes, sir, I'm working on my sim. Nice, D-Champ, nice. You guys know this thing's kind of loud in my ear. Let me stand up. Turn them down just a little bit so they're not too loud in my ear. And money, uh, once you get on there, let's get your bird started. Comms 1, we're going to go to 257, good sir. 257, copy. Okay, let's arm our brake there. And we're going to put the stores cat, uh, configuration in two. And uh, we'll get our laser armed in the air. Everything bottom left panel is done. Right panel, we can go ahead and turn up some lights here. It is uh, the server just restarted, so it may be a little dark in some areas. We may get some sun in a few areas here. Everything there is good to go. And uh, once we get one on comms, we'll figure out exactly uh, what our target area will be let's come here really quick to the uh, F10 menu we're gonna go to the A right hey, comms check 257 this is one five by five. five by five and we have four join us money's in there too so we'll wait for him to get his stuff set up okay roger that I guess money, you'll be four. Four? Alright, so we boxing, uh, we boxing, uh, one zero two Yankee on attack hand. Uh, well, we might want to rethink that since Cages might need fuel too. We were thought we were going to go to a, a tanker that has drogues that can also refuel all of us. Ah, okay, um, I see drogue, 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 boom. Boom, I don't see the MPRS tanker, I just see... Go with Shell 1-1. One, one. Okay, Shell 1-1, one, one. so that's... One Yankee. Yeah, Shell 1-1 one, one and 81 Yankee with the frequency of 253. So we'll type that in right now. Roger. We'll come here, we'll go Dobbler over once to T and R, and we said it was 82 Yankee. So we'll put in 82, we're going to hit Enter, we're going to Dobbler up once to change this to Yankee, we're going to hit M Select and Enter. Under 60 miles, under 60 miles. Radar check 257. Yeah, roger that. I got the tanker now at 96 miles going away from us on a heading of roughly uh, 200. That's not accurate. He's 152 miles. Make sure you're in transmit receive and have your HSI thing to uh, TACAN. Yeah, roger that. That's what I got. TACAN, I have 82 Yankee punched in transmit receive and that's what I'm getting. It's 81. Okay, 81. That was a problem. Thanks a lot. 
So. And operation area is going to be waypoint 19. Okay, roger that. Now I got him at 155 uh, on a heading uh, roughly uh, 195. Okay, roger that. Okay, then we're going to come up to waypoint 19 here. Cool. Okay, waypoint 19 is in there. And let's go ahead now and go to list 0 R and we're going to align our helmet here. There, I forgot what we got to do here. Is it this? I thought we had to hit this zero. So enter. Let me see. I always have a problem with this part. I thought it was zero, zero. No. Oh, you know what? My helmet's not on. That's the problem. I got to cycle it off. Okay, there we go. Helmet's on. While I'm at it, before I forget, guys, let me get you guys those flight controls. Now we can hit M select, and there we go. Yeah, I didn't like that. Let's read. Let's redo that again. Okay, let's hit M select again. Okay, that looks good there. And that looks good there. And one to flight. Uh, we're ready for taxi. I'm just going to shoot my F taking it. Okay, roger that. I'm just finishing my alignment for my helmet, and I'll be there in a second, good sir. Roger, roger. Before ready. And uh, one, what would you like us to set our bingo to? Uh, we've set three thousand for bingo. Three thousand for bingo. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up my countermeasures, too. If everybody hasn't done that, I recommend setting up your countermeasures as well. Yeah, I totally forgot how to uh, set those up. Okay, list seven. Then once you get into the list seven, you want to dobbler over with sequence to the right once, and then you can start doing your shaft. Then once you figure all that out, then you can dobbler over again to the right, then you can do your flares. I'll run manual. At least for right now, I'll keep it in manual. Copy that. So we'll do two flares, and we'll do seven. Oops. Let's clear that out. Flight be advised, current altimeter is 2982. 2982 on the altimeter. Sure about 2982 here, we're uh, showing 220 for the uh, altitude. That's what it gave in a briefing. That might be a general one, but uh, you said the uh, So you want to just what set it at at zero, zero altitude? Yeah, my brief is saying uh, two nine six one. But yeah, I'm set at two nine or six one. Everything zeroed out. 
Okay, AFIRM 2961. Alright, copy that. I'm going to 2958 from mine here. Two is ready. I think Stix White is already one. <clears throat> okay, stand by. I'm just trying to get a zero on this altimeter here. Okay, roger that. Mine zeroed out at 2961. I thought we turned this, uh, these messages off. Let's try this again. Let's go other. You know what? That's probably going to be the elevation of the runway. We're, we maybe are over a little higher up because it's landing ground or something. So yeah, 2961. Yeah, I'm getting about two nine or six three. Okay, hopefully we'll get all those messages. <clears throat> Alright, one to flight, we ready? Ready for taxi? Two. Two on the move. There goes Cages and 18. One, two, recommend before we roll out that we at least get the tack on to the uh, backup airfield in case we don't all get fuel when we need to. Okay, A fire. so we're all going to get fuel. Who who had that uh, who had that that airfield earlier? Can you get the uh, tack on? Yes, we got it. Yeah, three's getting it right now. Okay, Roger. All right, one's holding short of uh, two, three. So we have that uh, attack and information. Copy that. Two hold short right at your six. Got a mean group right here. Knock on is one zero seven. Okay, 107, is that an x-ray? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's an x-ray. Okay, Tango Mike, uh, be advised, uh, one, I have written down 107 x-ray for us, so if we need to go there, uh, I've written it down on the scratch pad, so we'll be able to use it, and I'll, I'll give it to the team. Okay, Roger, I have 107 x-ray as well. All right, one and two uh, line up, and three and four line up behind one and two. Two. Three. Four. Final is clear. Two. 
airspeed's alive. Rotate. Oh my goodness. Oh. Crash. I crashed on takeoff, dog. <laughs> I crashed on takeoff. <laughs> How'd you do that? I don't know, man. She, I, I pulled back on the stick and she dipped to the left. She dipped to the left, man. She dipped it's to the a, left. It, it, it's that, what do you call it? It's the damn... Uh, wake turbulence. Wake it's turbulence. the wake yeah. turbulence. I got the turbulence from you, man. She dipped nah. to the left. Nah, did you have, did you, uh, were you in Cat 2? Cat two? Well, so, look, look at my, they look they at my stream. Out. I am in Cat 2. Look at my stream. I am in Cat 2, bro. I went to rotate and it just dipped to the left. There was nothing I could do. Big up, Green. I'm gonna go ahead and respawn oh, yeah. back, man. But Green, next time, way, I'm, Green, I'm, on the way. yeah, next time I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to take off so close to you because I got your wake turbulence. That's why, that's why uh, Cages was saying, be careful with the wake turbulence, bro. Roger, Roger. All right, uh, one to one. Coming in to say what's up. I see y'all about to get y'all battle tested hard. All right, y'all. Let's redo this again. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna load everything up, get it back going again, guys, and I'll get up. But yeah, I'm not taking off that close again. Roger. And, and sorry, Green, I couldn't hear you. I was just saying, what's up, y'all, everybody? Man, I'm ready to go out. I just wanted to say what's up to all you battle-tested, hard-hearted uh, flyers and bombers. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, what up, Green? Yeah. Yeah, this this server's got wake turbulence on there, which isn't good because what happens is if you're anywhere close, we'll it causes yeah, that your was a nice takeoff, man. Nice takeoff. It causes your uh, aircraft to go into a roll. Yeah, I'll let you guys know. I don't know if you guys want to circle the pattern, relaand again, or I can meet you guys at the tanker, whichever one. But yeah, man, I ain't taking on this server. I definitely recommend never take off that close because the wake turbulence is just it just puts you right into a roll. Hey Dre. Yeah. So money money had a gear issue. He's RTB. He's uh emergency jettison all stores. So uh depart with him and meet us uh meet us out on uh on station. Okay, copy that. We'll go to eighty one Yankee, meet you guys on station, brother. Yo, Dre, you streaming? Yeah, yeah, I'm streaming right now. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I don't even see you. Hold on. Should be live. I'm live. I'm live and in the there it is. It just popped up. I just refreshed it. Okay, yeah, Roger that. I'm streaming live. Matter of fact, your voice is coming over <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> Big up everybody. That's what I'm talking Welcome about. Welcome to Bush Your Head on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bust your head wide open. Bust your head wide open on Sunday. Put to the, the white meat. To the white meat. Put them to sleep. <laughs> to and, the uh, white meat. <laughs> Send them outside to tell them to go do something they normally don't do, which is called play, and let the grown folks blow some shit up this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. You you really need to get on board with this shit, Green. Man, I, 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 he can't. Uh, he, he can't even wait, come wait, up with an excuse. Wait, so I hear a transmission coming through. Uh, <laughs> Phoenix, uh, Senator, this is Green holding short of forty ninety. How up. <laughs> <laughs> He can't even say nothing. <laughs> he got me, he got me. Alright, we got our GBU 12s back. Yeah, so this this server guys has Sorry, great turbulence. It's on the way, it's on the way. It'll be there Wednesday. I sent you the the, 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 the tracking uh, thing in uh, Discord there too. Oh, okay. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. No problem, no problem. Man, I'm playing just looking good, man. Ooh. All right, let's do Look this like all over again. Cloud. Yeah, the clouds oh, are beautiful damn. for sure. No, it's for the base is a flight formation for me. Now. Oh, how much for that S16? Rearming complete. Should be on. Just should be on sale now. Go to, uh, just type in DCS World Green in your search browser and click on DCS World when you see it. It'll take you to the Eagle Dynamics and you'll be able to see how much it is right now. It's $70. It's $70 there, Black Jew. Mm -hmm. It is not, not sales anymore. It just went off sale. 
You just uh, missed the 4090 cell in DCS. <laughs> 4090. Uh, you stupid. It was called the holding short 4090 cell. <laughs> All right. It's 4090 DCS. Yeah. Right? Okay, let's turn that up. Get that up. We'll be back at it again, guys. Restored heading. We'll wait for this to rest to get initialized. Hey, four, uh, are you going to just come back and get a new jet or are you going to repair? Now watch when we take off with no wake turbulence. Still on comms for? Anybody hear me on comms? I got you uh, right on Discord comms. Yeah, Roger. That's what I'm. I was looking to see where uh, money was at. See what he was. If he's getting a new jet or is he repairing? I'm, I'm getting. I'm gonna get a new jet, but I'm just just making it off on the airfield here. I'm, I'm low riding right now. Got the ass dropped here. Okay, Roger that. Roger that. With spinners. <laughs> Alright, fellas, man. I'm going to check back with y'all a little bit later on, man. I'll holler at y'all a little bit later. Alright, All green man. Thanks for checking in, brother. Alright, y'all enjoy the bombing run and get up to the game, buddy. Appreciate it, man. I'll get back at you at this point later on. That's, That's what's up. Alright, All right, so that was. Uh, you know, a little angering there, but that's what happens. So the wake turbulence on here, I wish they would turn it off. All right, in the pit here. Okay, Roger that. on of course uh, once again which we did before we're going to get our stores into uh, category 2 because of our weight and let's uh, Doppler over comes 1 2 5 7 0 0 Enter. Morning, big up Dre heard you went down was watching Leo stream just checking uh, I'll give all them, um, <laughs> yeah. counting two of them and two's checking back in two five seven. Jet is on, getting it ready, waiting for four. We got you on two five seven. Two. All right, let's go ahead before we forget and align our helmet. List zero. R. Doppler over. We're gonna select M again. Don't know how well that alignment went, but let's do it again. Okay, one of three, be advised, one's gone hot and one is uh, one is flanking. Okay. Okay, that's done. Boom. Ten cent now if you need to. Over. Doppler down. We're gonna do eighty-one. Enter, Doppler up, M select, enter, we're on 81 Yankee. Should come down here now and go in Columbus for elevation. miles out. That looks good. Roger. Four, you on comms yet? Okay, he's still waiting to be on comms. We're gonna go there. I'm spreading a little bit as well. 19. Roger. Two six one. We are good to go there. Let's get our landing light on. Parking brake is still on. IFF is on. Let's get this bottom radio on there. Bada bing, bada boom. 
since we got time, let's also come back here to list. We'll go to seven. We'll Doppler over. We'll change that to two. Enter. We're just doing our shaft and flare. One feature. See, it does it ten times. I only wanted to do it, let's say, like four times. Enter, and we'll do it at 0.75 seconds. Flare. Uh, we'll also do. Uh, we'll do flare. Let's see. We're gonna do flare. Maybe half second. Come up. We'll have it do it four times as well. And we'll go to enter. Enter one five zero. Oh. Enter. Okay, that stayed. Let's uh let's go back over to the sequence commands other two shaft two layer two. Okay, all that looks good. Let's now come here to list two set three thousand one two three enter and we're good there. You want comms yet, four? How you looking there, four? You on comms yet? Uh, point to right now. Okay, roger that. Four clear. We'll just let it roll. Four roger. Five by five. Fox two. It's called Fox three, not Fox two. Ah, uh, yeah, Fox 3, my bad. Fox 2 is, uh, in ticket. What, what, what was the difference between Fox 3 and Fox 2? Fox 3 is, uh, radar guided. Look at it. Got you. I'm just rolling out here now, uh, 4, so I'll just be standing by whenever you're ready. Alright, uh, roll into the runway and we'll take off a little bit staggered so that wake turbulence doesn't get you, dog. One, four. Three. One, splash one. Go ahead, go ahead. So you got one, I got one. A firm. One to three right now. We're uh, seeing a clean picture currently around us, up to eighty at least. Turning back on course, uh, two zero zero heading. Copy that. And four, final looks clear, runway is clear, we'll go ahead and take it. Let's stagger our takeoffs a little bit and I'll fly runway heading until you get in, then we'll turn on over to the tanker. I'll copy. Oh, I'm, I'm taking off with you, but I'm just gonna scoot, scoot a little more over to the right. Okay, roger that. Go ahead and conduct your flight uh, sweep while you move. Four. Okay, one ready. Hey, that was good work, Cages. That was good uh, teamwork there. Thank you. I got one, uh, two off the nose, uh, hot. Uh, I think this is members on this. Four ready. Okay, roger that. Toe brakes, pull them up, mill power. Our angels, uh, 25. Brakes release, afterburner. 
Can't be advised, one has times two, 120 C's left. See that smooth takeoff there, y'all? Gear up, coming out afterburner. Okay, we are going to come left uh, now for tanker. Keep five degrees nose up. Okay, Roger. Turn and burn. We can use your help up here. We got multiple contacts. We're on our way. We're turning towards the tanker heading. Then we'll get our air to air going and join the fight. Rolling out wings level four. Keep uh, five degrees nose up. Let's try to at least keep uh, three one zero on the speed for now for fuel conservation. Looks like we're going to be fighting some bogies over there. Four. Four. This guy uh, heading from left to right at Angels two five. You get a reading on him? Is he a friendly or? I just see it. I don't see it in a business. Okay, Roger. And one, two will be relinquishing command to four. Four, you are now two. Two is now four. <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's push it up uh, 375 here. 375, two. Seven and a half, and I'm coming under you and be taking your uh, your position as uh, four now. Four to six miles for the tanker. I'm reading forty-two and a half. Uh, tail tanker. That I'm um, still catching up to you in the cloud in the blind right now. Keep an eye out for you. All right, copy. I'm throttling back, coming back down in those uh, five here. Copy out of the cloud. Got you coming up on your uh, five o'clock. And what's up, Andy? I can't really read the, the uh, chat right now since I'm flying this F-16, but and, I hope uh, you're well. Today, one, uh, report contacts, please. Picture's clean at the moment. And two, this is four. Were you able to get the uh, 81 Yankee tack amp put in, or do you want me to navigate us? Uh, you're going to navigate it. Okay, roger that. Uh, we got this heading for 123. All right, copy. Pushing up on the power just a bit. Copy that.
more. Let's go ahead and fence in, y'all. Blades are on. Master arm. Let's get that radar situated here. All right, we're 21 out. We're going to go ahead and uh, swap over to tanker free. Which is 253. Copy. And two, you want me to stay on this frequency or are we swapping over? I will swap over when we get closer. Copy that. That's good, Andy, to hear you're doing really slightly better, Thank brother. Might be on two five three now. Come here. All right, rolling out. Four. All right, rolling out. Yep, uh, three, three. You copy on uh, two five seven. I think he's staying over comms one uh, for 253. We might want to switch over if you want to get in. Yeah, but I'm, I'm hearing him though. That's Cages, I think you're hearing. Yeah, he's three, right? Yeah, Cages is three. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I was asking him what his angels were, but I'm hearing him transmit. <laughs> talking to him on 257, he's not answering, but I hear him talking. Uh, uh, real quick, um, so the NPRS is not going to fuel us uh, 16s, so I'm going to fly caches, okay, cages to the to the tanker. It responded to him, but not to me, so we're going to get him some gas, and then we'll head to our normal uh, Texaco tanker for me. Okay, roger that. I'll go ahead and put 102 Yankee in for us, uh, too. Okay, and I'm back on 257. How, how, how copy? Out at uh, Angels 2 here. Okay, roger that. Once we level out, I'll mess with my uh, attack end here. Two. You guys are going to trap at 11 o'clock. So I high contract. Visual. Cages. This. Are you comfortable going to this tanker alone? My tanker is yeah, uh, actually yeah. just to our left. Uh, just, okay. Because this guy is going away from okay, us. Okay. So we're pretty much on the yeah, same okay, heading. Go, uh, four. We need to come left to them. about a heading right, of I'll one nine zero. Tanker, meet us up at uh. At one one nine zero. Come left. That's the new rendezvous point. Tanker will be 300 indicated, uh, Angels 25.
Ah, oh, there goes that wake turbulence I just hit of his. They need to turn that off on this. It's, it's too unrealistic. What's up, gaming? What server are you flying? We are on the Through the Inferno Syria server, my G. So, uh, your attack is going to be 102. Okay, one to flight, be advised. Uh, we're now going to the rendezvous point, Texaco. Uh, two one. Uh, Cages is going to Shell one one. He'll rendezvous with us at uh, Texaco. Four. And be advised, we are fourteen out from uh, from Texaco two one. Copy that. Uh, two and four are seventy eight out from uh, Texaco two one. Roger. List two, so we can keep my iron fuel. You gonna join us, gaming? You gonna join us? Join up. Get you and your F sixteen, homie. Alright, here in a second. Uh, two to four, how are we looking on heading? Be advised, uh, we've got... Okay, we are 64, heading is perfect, heading is perfect. We got about uh, 62 miles, I think he's coming back towards us now. Two. Or reporting 6.6 .6 on the field. We're at, it should be at 46 miles. Should be 46 miles. Basically, come right a little bit, two degrees, and we'll be right on direct nose on. Come to about a heading of 185, and that should be that should be good to go. There we go. Now we got our DED information on that page. Let's also try to uh, use our radar here. It's about. 29 out. Okay, uh, 2 4 we're now reporting tanker 29 out, so he's turned into us. 27 out now. Back up here, I got him on radar. Okay, Roger that. His frequency will be 256. How copy? 256, uh, switching over now. 256, switching over. Uh, I got you, 5 by 5 4 checking in, 256. Got you, 5 by 5 Alright guys, one to flight. We are 4 out behind uh, the tanker right now. I only have F-15 for, uh, I'm hitting to see what for a refuel. F-15 uh, X has. Yeah, I think that's uh, 4 that's come left a little bit here. 
four. That one knows it's on about uh, 12 miles out here. 10 miles. Four. 6.1 on the fuel. Visual on the tanker, 1 o'clock, 1.30. Four. Coming right. Yeah, gangster that wake turbulence is. Probably going through it again here. Uh, but it's spike 18. Rolling high level. Four. Visual on Faker. Dude, my throttle just did the crap it did earlier, Dre. I was stuck open. Man, that sucks. I wonder if it's something that DCS update did, because it just started happening today. Very well could be. Ah, <laughs> see, I didn't update. Yeah, they had a little micro update today and yesterday. Yeah, I did the one yesterday, but I didn't do today's. It looks like it was all campaign shit. Yeah, roger that. Okay, one to flight, we're pulling up. Copy, we're in the trail, you're uh, it's 7 o'clock for about a mile and a half. Roger. And a four tick uh, left side, please. Okay, coming left. See, we stayed low. We didn't get that wake turbulence on purpose. Okay, two's on left side now. Two, you mean four? No, you were right. You're two, I'm four. <laughs> hey! Four divided by two is two. How you like that? <laughs> but two plus two is four. <laughs> there you go. case I'm going to be buying rounds all night then. <laughs> Tell 
Follow the impulse. Fire leap. True that. Get his credit card out. This tanker likes to make his left turn forever. The speak of the devil is rolling on now. Copy that. Oh, maybe it's body blood. Yeah, there you go. Guys, to my diesel engine, don't forget to turn the diesel engine because I cannot get the fire. Say again, uh, three. So don't forget to turn your disadvantage because I cannot identify you as friendly to my one. Copy that. Texaco 2-1-1-1, request rejoin. 1-1, Texaco 2-1, proceed to pre-contact at 25-1000 at 3-0-0. Good job, Go one. Contact. Our uh, page looks clear. I don't see any bogeys out there. One's coming off right, take a break. Next one slide in. Captain Two's coming in. Texaco, two, one, one, one. Good job, one, one. Good job getting connected and everything. One, one, Texaco, two, one. Proceed to pre contact at 25,000 at 300.
up a little bit there uh, to come up. About another foot, you'll be there. in there on three. To be honest with you guys, it's even tired just flying formation, just holding this right here. It is a lot of concentration, so everybody here is concentrating a lot. Plus this thing's got wake turbulence in here, so you guys saw that first takeoff. That's basically wake turbulence that got us from Leo's jet taking off and put us into a left roll on takeoff, and that's where our wing hit. Can't stop it. Just stop.
glitched a little bit for me. Yeah, it's all these damn messages, I think. Okay, let me get back in there. Man, you just lit up my, uh, can of my cockpit when you went in the burner for a second. That's pretty dope. Nice. Audio, that is. Like, the audio changed drastically.
Let me know if you want to take a break, Dre. I'll slide back over. We're at uh, 5.8 now. Four. I just got 5.4. I'm going to give it one more go here. Three going to go. There's a few. I'm going to have 9.9. One's gonna uh, come left into uh, left observation. Copy yeah. that. Uh, check your left. Uh, one hub. Two is uh, on this side. Yeah, about the ambition. No, I'm two now, so I'm on your left side at uh, eight o'clock. One, two, three, grab some tool. I'm gonna get this. Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear you, but you kind of sound a Okay, four is going to slide left. I got 6,000 on the fuel, so I'll go ahead and slide left. Come on in, one. So we did get some fuel. We're having more success refueling, guys. Overall, we're getting better with our air to rear fuel in F-16. If you guys know, this is very hard to do, especially when that we, we caught some fuel in the turn. more turning in like to an air-to-air -air refueling mission but this is what it is sometimes It's his turn one, he got to come out. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's like with mine, it's like if I bump the trim one time, the thing climbs too much. Roger that. It's definitely the turn though for me, at least in this bird it is. Sorry guys, I can't pay that much attention to the uh, chat because this is very hard to do and fly alone and even push any buttons on the aircraft. So, And there's wake turbulence in here guys, so you got to be very careful to turn this into a roll like when I first did my takeoff and crashed. So wake turbulence is the turbulence that we get off the turbines of an aircraft in front of us, and so it's very dangerous. that wake turbulence now. Gotta just stay calm, get out of it. Yeah, it's not so much the turn itself, it's the wind in the mission. So when you roll, it wants to roll around the axis of the, uh, the flight path marker, which it, it, it doesn't, it rolls around the, the center of the axis for the turn, and the flight path marker is off, so it actually makes you go up and down. I agree, and then the wake turbulence doesn't uh, help either. turn and you go past them you still get some turbulence because I just experienced it a minute ago on my stream. Yeah this turbulence is not realistic because I mean you see these things these guys come in rock steady you know what I mean they're flying formation on the take a rock steady there's I mean you might get a little buffet but none of this shake and flop and all that. Yeah I agree I was so mad about that takeoff but I know on this server that's what we're going to expect, so... Leave it to ED to try to make something good. I mean, wind turbulence is, it is real, you know what I mean? I would love to have a properly modeled thing, but they swear it's modeled properly. Roger that. Hey, one, you want to just deviate to the uh, at that base and then get some fuel and that way we can get some bombs off, homie. I mean, I'm good. I got 8,500. We can go on mission for real. Well, I only have 5.4, so I need to tank up again. How you doing over there, 2? Two? 2's got uh, 7.6. I say let Leo get fuel, let me go in one more time, then you go in last because you're the best at it, then we can go on the mission. Two. But according to this, uh, one, we're still uh, 150 miles away from the target zone. I wasn't playing no games, I was getting it today, boy. Texaco, 2-1-1-1, request rejoin. We're coming over. 1-1, Texaco, 2-1, proceed to pre-contact at the money, 5,000 at 3 0 Watch, he's gonna go in a turn for me, lucky me. Yep.
I think they don't have a collision on the damn bone yet.
I know I went through it a couple of times. Well, if they get collision, that means they also got a better operator, so you can just slam that shit all the way up real quick. It wouldn't be an issue anyway. Right. Giving up.
you talking to me? I just saw that you can hear me on Stand by, I can't hear you, I'm in the external view. Alright boys, I got 8.3, I'm done. Two's coming back in. One, what you got? I'm happy with my 8.2, that's good. Uh, one's got 7.8. I could go in one more time uh, after after two, just to see if I can get it. If I don't, we go. Yeah, roger that. I'm good to go here now. All right, guys, we got enough fuel. We look at that. We got 8,000 pounds of fuel. I'm so happy what we did. One, one, Texaco, two, one, proceed to pre-contact at 25,000 at 300. It's turned into an air-to-air refueling mission. Over your front, slightly low. Ready, recontact. This turn helped us out too. We're 134 out from the target area. Bob. But now we're going away from it, just to let you know. Bodge. Fighting that wake turbulence right now. Oh, there it goes. That's that stupid wake turbulence. You guys see that? You don't want to burn too much fuel here. Ready, recontact. The good thing is we're able to get enough fuel to stay relevant. Aviation geeks in the house. Sorry guys, I can't speak as much as I would like to. No more mid-air collision, boys. No more mid-air collisions. Contact. Yeah, roger that. Who's getting fuel now? Two? Two. Full tanks uh, to how much you get completely? 9,000? Uh, it was like 91 and some change. Okay, Roger, I'm at 7.8, so I think I'm good here. <coughs> if I get back down into the sixth, I'll, I'll touch up one more time and then we're out of here. How you doing on fuel?
All right, one's disengaging. We've got uh, 81. We're good. Okay, and I got 7.6. Let's get on the mission. Watch out. I'm on your left. I'm on your left. Yeah, I need to adjust my curves. I think it's messed my curves up because this is what it was doing when I very first started learning how to uh, AAR. All right, one's coming, one's coming left. Okay, roger that. Uh, coming left, uh, four is coming left towards uh, waypoint 19. We've got it for 163. Hey, did somebody just send me some mark point data? I have no idea how to look at that. I just got it too. Back to 257. Hey, Fran, back to 257. Four. I'm four. Captain, just make sure you're on it, too. <laughs> One's checking in 257. Okay, four is coming over. I'm to your guys' left. I'm sliding over Angels 24.4. Check up there, one. Buddy Spike. Buddy Spike, F-16. Copy my way. I can't get out of this damn, uh, this damn data message mode here. Me neither. Who sent us that? Yeah, I got a mark point data message on mine, too. Same here. Hey, what's y'all speed? We need to pull it back to conserve a little fuel. Uh, 350. We're pulling back now to fuel flow 5900. Yeah, roger that, because I'm at 7.1 on the fuel. I'm burning so much fuel trying to catch y'all at 351. We're at Angels 237, so I think we should pretty much conserve fuel at 300 at least. Like, yeah, bring that speed back, because otherwise I'm going to be going back to tank before we know it. Okay, one's coming up five degrees, going to uh, 300. I actually meant 300 on the speed. Oh, what you got? 300 on the speed, not the climb, because we're heavy. Back 300. Yeah, if we got the speed, we should climb. We should get more. 
more more fuel uh, getting to the higher altitude. We can go up to 27. Yeah, Roger. Let me catch up first, though. Let me catch up to you boys first, because I'm the, I'm pretty I'm at 7,000 even out in the field trying to catch y'all. Break, boy. Check. Coming up on your left. Three zero five. Hey, I'm here, boss. Five thousand on the fuel flow. Five thousand on the fuel flow. Yeah, I want higher. I mean, we're gonna have to descend down anyway. Uh, pretty heavy cloud layer. Two, your call. Uh, it's up to one. Alright, let's go up to, uh, two seven-ish and see how we get on. Four. One's coming up. These were all relatively around the same fuel state, so that's good. Still got about 109 miles to ride this out, though. Right here, right now. Just look at your fuel flow. It's falling off as we climb, so that's good. Yeah, roger that. Hell, we can go up to 300 for real. Four concurs. Yeah, keep the climb up. that, need to push it up, on the speed that is. Roger that, going to mill power. Yeah, 300, we should try to keep, at Angels 30, we should try to keep 300 on the speed for maneuverability. You know you're 
here in Burger, right? Negative, not in Burner, Oman. You are, you are in Burner. Not on my screen, I'm not. Okay, run that. Check your fuel flow, what's your fuel flow? 8100. Yeah, that's why you're not 8100 in Burner, you should be like 55. 46, or not, out of Burner. Level off here, build up our speed and mill here. miles to go. Roger, roger. 6.4 on the field. Nice if they put some more tankers closer to some of these target areas, man. There, I got them all bunched up so far away. Yeah, I say next time we just two bag Charlie it, have a more realistic loadout. I mean, nine times out of ten, these guys are gonna have double bags anyway. I agree. Somebody just came over the top of me. Who was that? Probably me. It was me totally. I switched over from the, uh, I was getting a little slow on speed there, so I, that was me.
approach for airspeed. 250. Alright, copy that. Dude, this feels like a deep strike. Definitely does. Cages, if you want to open it up a little bit, man, so you can relax, have at it, bro. Man said he's a constant professional. I think you want to try to see what we can see from up here or go down lower. We're definitely, if we're using the targeting pod, we're definitely going to have to go down lower. Yeah, definitely. Looks like there's some cloud breaks up ahead and should scan with the pod first to see if we can find anything up here and then if not, go down. Yeah, I like that too. And two, I'm going to be right off your right side. Alright, flight, y'all can go ahead and fence him when, when uh, ready. Four. Two cents. One thing, I'll be dropping these CBU 97s first to get rid of some of this weight. change the profile and stuff for the 97s, Dre? Yeah, so go into control. Where? Save it. So control, once you're in your stores page with your 97 selected control, will be the type, top right, uh, line select key. Then once you're in there, uh, use the left line select keys to correspond what you want to change. But if you want to change height of function, it'll be already selected. So so line select key that one right to next to height of function, hit enter, and then it'll it'll go down and you can put 1200 in, which is my favorite uh, for these bombs. Then hit enter, and then control, and it'll be set up. So which which number is the height of function, of the, the top one or the bottom one? It'll be the one that by default, I think it's at 1500. It'll be the bottom number. So the top one, all you got to do is once you line select key that, hit enter, then you'll see it'll it'll select the lower numbers, 
and then you're able to use the numbers around the line, select these, select one, two, zero, zero, and then hit enter, and then hit control again, and you're set to go. Okay, roger. When you're done, you'll know, you'll be back in there, it'll say AD 1.50 seconds, BA for barrel altitude, height of function 1200 feet, and relative angle 45 degrees. Or release angle 45 degrees. Yeah, roger. 5.3 or 5.4 on the fuel. One's coming right, son. Start searching now. We are 36 miles out. Alright, two set to seven point one fuel. Yeah, I'm not able to get a good picture down there through the cloud. Neither am I. I recommend we descend below the cloud layer. Alright, let's do it. Everybody uh free to descend. Four. Okay, I'm going to take this opening uh, coming up the left side of the target area. Copy that. Clouds look to be on the deck, so I'm at 12,000 now, I'm just at the top, so. More. More is coming through uh, Angels 12.6. Got you guys all on uh, my uh, 1 and 12 o'clock. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be a good one for LGBs, but CBUs will have to maybe run in and do CCRP drops. I am set up for CCRP, so I'm good to go there. I'm going to come right 50 degrees here shortly. I am uh, 24 off the target to see what I can see. <coughs> Hopefully, we still got targets over here. That means CCRP. <coughs> okay, we're coming down uh, below 10,000. Trying to see if we can see under this cloud layer here. More same. I'm in Angels 
<laughs> uh, Forest, 12 out, Angel 7, looking for targets. Pilot on there, man at speed. Speed is still good. Anybody have any joy on targets? I got target, I'm gonna be rolling in on it. I got a target. Let's see, what are we here? Seven out. Four is rolling on the target. When I drop it, you guys will be able to see exactly where it's at. And I'm gonna be leaving a big mess because this is gonna be a, a CBU. Planes on the ground as well. Okay, one's getting ready to uh, run in as well. Four pickle. be egressing out to the west. Copy egressing e to the west. Copy. Let's turn it back over. See if we can catch it. Clear pod. No joy for one bomb didn't come off the jet. Okay, remember you gotta wait for it to flash, then for that uh, bomb line to come down again. So it'll flash, letting you know that you're uh, pretty much good to go, and then it'll another bomb line will drop down. You hold your pickle, and it'll come off of the CBU 97s. Yeah, I had a little circle pop up, and then uh, it did flash. I held it, but. I don't know, I'll come back around again. Yeah, so the circle flashes, then the circle will disappear, then you'll see another horizontal horizontal thing come down. Hold your pickle until it gets center with your uh, level flight and your flight path marker, and then it comes off. So that circle that flashes is part of the pre-steps of it bomb coming off. That's going to flash, that's going to disappear, then you're going to get your actual bomb uh, line that comes down. And then you just keep holding pickle and it'll come off. Okay, Roger, I'm running back in for another pass. Uh, four same. 4.7 on the fuel. I won't be here long. I'm going to get a bunch off, then I'm out of here. Uh, Roger. on a heading of 303, Angels 3, uh, 6 off the target. Captain, you guys are targeted in the airfield, correct? Correct. 
Right. More pickle. Yeah, I think I bought some static stuff. Nothing was destroyed on that one. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, I got you. This is when the airfield on one bit. There's no targets over here. Okay, Roger. I'm not even sure if any of those targets are live because man, I, I, that CBU hit like a triple A and a bunch of stuff right on top of it and I didn't get any, uh, I didn't get any, any joy on that one either. The same here. I'm going to double check the F10 menu and see if it's been updated. Alberto D's in the house. Yeah, Roger. I'm uh, about to do a pass over the airfield right quick. Okay, yeah, Roger. This waypoint is not even active. That's why. We got waypoint four, easy targets. Uh, we've got uh, waypoint 22, aid at ground hard. Waypoint 32, deep strike. Waypoint 14, air to ground normal. So we need to go to uh, waypoint 14, guys. Okay, 14 it is. Yeah, because 19 is no longer active. Okay, 14, good gracious. It's 106 miles from here. <coughs> yeah, no joy for me on that one. Yeah, so that's why nothing's coming up as destroyed. Those are not active enemy targets anymore. Do we have anything that's close? You said, what, 32? Yeah, well, I'm on uh, 14. Yeah, it's 107 to waypoint 14. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cycle through a couple waypoints and see what we got here. But, yeah, the 19 is no longer active. 32 is 90 miles. Say that again. Waypoint 2 is 9 zero mile. Waypoint 3, roger. Hello, three, 3 to 2. What's at waypoint 3? No, uh, I mean, waypoint 3 to 2 is 9, nine miles from us, so we can go bump over there if you want. I got waypoint 9 at 43 miles. Let me check and see if there's something at waypoint 9, stand by. Okay, waypoint four has got active targets. Somebody look for waypoint four. Uh, let's see, waypoint twenty-two. That's air to ground hard. Sixty-four units. Waypoint, waypoint thirty-two. Is, uh, one thirty. Waypoint four. Yeah, that's even farther out than uh, waypoint fourteen. Uh, yeah. So I mean, we're gonna have to refuel either way it goes. Waypoint thirty-two is a deep strike. Let me see how far that is. Okay, it's just getting updated now. Yeah, basically we got waypoint 22, 32, and 14 that we can do something with. Side, close. You would stop going right. Okay, waypoint 22 is no good. That's over 122 miles. Let me check waypoint 4 and waypoint uh, 32. Stand by. Check 32. 32 is 99. Let me check 4. If you want, we can go to airport, Beirut, and if you get through over there. 
Yeah, we need something because, uh... Yeah. It was on our last side, 63 miles. We can go over there if we're full and both strike some targets if we want. What waypoint was fuel? I mean, uh, they don't use the airport. Okay, so where, where are we going for fuel? What's the closest place where we're going to land for fuel? Beirut. Say again, Cages, what waypoint are we going to for fuel? This is having the waypoints. Is it attack Dan? No, it doesn't have. How, what, what's the name of this fuel? How do we find it? Beirut. It's called Beirut. Uh, and it doesn't have attack Dan, you say? What's the, what's the direction and heading? Thank you. You still there too? Yeah, I'm still orbiting. I have uh, 4.2 on the fill. Are you guys still orbiting uh, the last waypoint? Beirut 267. Okay, heading 267 for Beirut. Uh, 65, 66 nautical miles. And it doesn't have a tack end or anything? I don't know, I'm just getting on heading first and then uh, we can find that. I just checked it, doesn't have Copy that, turn it to a heading of 267. Good thing is at least some two CBUs lighter right now. Yeah, I got you guys. I got somebody at Angel 7, somebody at Angel 14. Did we lose uh, two? You still there, money? Okay, from uh, my, my head of you. Okay, Roger, is that you at Angels 15? Hey, from. Okay, I got you in HSD. This thing does not have a tack hand free. Okay, well, I'm following Money, and it looks like he knows where he's going, so uh, I'll be following him. Looks like he's climbing up 16 now. Yeah, Roger, I'm just two yards north. Okay, Roger that. Maybe 282, okay, 282, Okay, heading 282, copy that too. It's only 60 miles. I got uh, 4,000 pounds of fuel. We could just cruise right here. There, one's at 3,200 pounds. Yeah, Roger that. Copy that. Four or two is at uh, 5.1. Now I'm at 3.9. I think next time after we tank, uh, now that we're learning the server a little better, what we'll do is we'll recheck the. Uh, the uh, the picture and make sure that waypoint is good because I think we probably would have been closer to a lot of these other targets um, had we had checked that so that's a lesson learned for all of us I say we initially take off and head straight to the target area with two bags and uh, everybody just carry double the payload or, or, or the four bombs that'll still give us decent amount of bombs in the target area and then uh, go worry about either fuel or, or something like that just always have a backup you know I 100% agree that's a great call one Is uh three, is he still around? Yeah, I'm fine Okay, copy that. So we'll see you on the ground at Beirut. Yeah. 
One's reporting bingo fuel. We're about 40 miles out though. Copy that. I'm just uh, literally following uh, money here uh, on the HSD. Yeah, copy that. I'm, uh, I'm diving back down to the thing because I still got a lot of gas, so I want to enjoy the scenery down here. Yeah, and I still got 3.7 on the fuel, and if it's only 60 miles away, then that's no problem. We all got enough gas to get there for sure. Let's put autopilot on here for a second so I can check you guys. Man, I am loving this freaking 3090. No doubt. Mr. Cages over there has got a 4090. Who's that? Who's got 4090? Three. He goes by Cages, uh, but he's got a 4090. Oh, I bet he's loving it even more. Appreciate y'all, you guys hanging out. I'm checking the chat you know, now. The looking working good. out for me just fine. I don't think I have any reason to go any 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 bigger than I feel like that with the 3080. I'm completely happy. No, I go from I, I go from 57 to super for the four nine nine. So I feel the difference. You said a 1070 super? No, from the 27 to super. Uh, 2070 super. Copy that. Yeah, I went from a, a 2080 Ti to a 3090. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I went from an Atari to an actual computer. <laughs> Commodore to an Atari. Right? <laughs> Remember them Commodores? I went from a 2080 Ti to a 3080 Ti. I went from a 1080 to a 3080. I only used Discord because y'all was stepping all over each other. <laughs> no, this 3090, man, with this 24 gigabytes of RAM, I'm like, right now I'm at like 54%, 55% GPU usage, it just kicks ass. I'm, I'm getting 80% yeah. usage on my for the landed. You just have everything set up, uh, Kajan? Uh, I'll do it myself. Alright, uh, one's reporting 20 miles out. Looks like I'm right behind money on the HSD. Copy that, and I'm right behind you, one. You're at 12,000, correct? 17.2. Oh, yeah. Uh, 17, my uh, plane was blocking it. I'm right but not below you uh, on the heading of 286, so I'm behind you with money, and I got cages off there. He's the one off to the right at uh, 15,000. Yeah, cages. Sorry, cages, are you in uh, VR? No. Track IR? Nope, I'm using my nose to look at us. Oh, man. Get the track high up. That's tough, that's tough. <laughs> no, I'm used to it. That is tough. I never got used to it. The first time I, when I loaded up, when I first built my computer, and uh, was waiting on the track IR to come, like, I couldn't fly like that. I stopped flying until my track IR came. I'm seeing things down here I just never seen before because I didn't have the settings up high enough. You know, like these rows of, uh, like, I don't know, it looks like they're cultivated uh, rows of fields on the hillside and shit. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So my fault line is, this is in 22.5 gigs of turn Who's turning back to me? I just did a uh, uh, loop over. I'm overhead Beirut now. Okay, roger that. We'll be crossing midfield for the... Uh, we'll be landing... Uh, I'll be doing the right-hand pattern land, landing um, the same way we came in and landed the last time, Drake. Yeah, roger that. I got the field in sight. It's at 1,100 and the break. Okay, and uh, right now two's on the left base, dipping down, and I'm gonna do an overhead break at a thousand feet above. You making left traffic or right traffic, Leo? Right traffic. Okay, be aware I'm entering the pattern for over the runway, and that I'll make right traffic as well.
Yeah, we're going for the closest runway inland. Yeah, copy that. I'm over that now. It's the farthest runway inland. I got it. One's on right base. Four is overhead of the runway, getting ready to go midfield into the break. Beautiful, beautiful over here. Four is in the break. Yeah, I'm over the city right now, man. It looks gorgeous. One's on final. Four right base. Land to the right. More short final. Rough one, y'all. We got it down. Coming past you, coming past you, three. On that low, that low barrel roll. Yeah, don't forget all that snack you was talking. Then I, I see you scream, and what are you two back, Charlie? And shit, back on talking all that smack. And I got one last question for you: Are you ready or not? <laughs> Godspeed. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, four is exit in the runway. Well, we didn't blow any tires, so that's a good thing, y'all. This has, uh, fuel and ammo. It goes. I'm still showing this Mark Point 501 joint on there. Is anybody able to get rid of that? I still got it on there too. I don't know how to get rid of it. I got a feeling we might be able to go into the uh, DED and figure something out to clear that message out. I'm going to figure it out. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but my, my suspicion is that it's a data link message sent from another plane or something. Yeah, roger that. As I say, before we rearm, we see what missions are still available and load up for that. Roger that. Check distances. Without a doubt, though, I'm going to be taking probably two bags just to make sure we can stay on station a little bit longer and get there faster. Four concurs. I'll be two bags, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be me, too. We parked last time, Dre. Copy that. Uh, four continuing taxi to the field. Currently crossing over runway 17. Continue taxi. Shutting down when you get here, Dre? Uh, I, don't know. I was just going to leave a run and look at the mission. I still got uh, two some thousand pounds of fuel and then rearm and refuel with the engines running. I'm just going to put the parking brake on. Okay, roger that. Hey, isn't it nice and dark over here? You said dark? What you mean? I mean, uh, it's 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 a little bit darker over here. Like, cause the sun is being blocked. It looks nice. Oh yeah, cause we're under the cloud. The clouds. Hey, we need to tell Green to join us up, so he don't ask. He don't have to ask what time is it in the sim. There go Green right there. <laughs> Big up everybody. What up, Green? Right, that's all he needs is multiplayer. He ain't, uh, ain't got ain't to worry about what time it is in the sim. Everybody synced up. Yes, sir. He just checked in in my stream and said, big up, everybody. Yeah, same here. And then, look, he get all of his uh, nighttime flying that he like, his, 
his IFR do that IFR training and his DMEs and his and his and his uh, VORs and all that in these jets. Quiet as kept. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Hey, you know I gotta get him back for that gangsta clothes comment that he had us rolling on the other day. Bro, he had me rolling on that one. <laughs> Alright boys, I'm gonna send it over to intermission. I'm gonna uh, hit the head and then we'll look at, uh, cause I'm not gonna load up until we find out what kind of mission we going on. Roger that broski. Parking brake is up. I'm gonna get the canopy up and get some air in here and I'm gonna do the same on a little bathroom break. Yeah, Roger. All right. So. Chopping up here. Right. Get that off for now, y'all. And we're going to be taking a little break here, guys. So I'm going to get off camera, start some music, and take a little bathroom break. And then we're going to get back to it, guys, to see what's crack a lack. And I'll see you guys after the break.
Y'all, did you go back out, Dre? Y'all go back out? Everybody, your boy is back. There, go ahead and get the musica off for now. Force back on com. I will be in uh, about two or three minutes. Trying to warm the kids up from there. Okay, Roger, that's uh, looking for a mission info now. So from here, we want to go do easy targets. Waypoint 4, got 16 units there. Uh, again, Waypoint 2's got 64 units there. It's air to ground hard. There's a deep strike, Waypoint 32, 84 units remain. Uh, air to ground normal, Waypoint 14, 14 units remain. I think that's, we could even look at that one. Let me take a look at uh, Waypoint 14. It's in Bravo Victor 84. Let's see. Bravo Victor 84, that's going to be off to the south. We are in Beirut, so I'll tell you where we guys, we're, we're on the coast over here. This is where we're here now. So we're actually pretty close to the Brichter, uh, Bravo Victor uh, area over here. It's Bravo Romeo, Charlie Romeo, Bravo Sierra, uh, Bravo Tango. I think we are probably going to have ended up on the survey here. Uh, it won't let us do weapons over there? Yep, we just fill and this up. Okay, roger that. Well, that this Bravo Victor uh, area may be something that we can do here because uh, there's only like 14 targets and it's really close to us. Bravo Victor is to the north of us. Um, and I think I see where the little targets are at. So there's 14 targets over there at Bravo Victor that we could hit. And then the tankers are, wouldn't be too far off of there. Um, let me get a distance there uh, for this Bravo Victor area. That one's uh, 71 miles from us, so we can try it over there if we want. Wait, which one was 71 miles? Uh, my David. Uh, my David. Okay, Bravo Victor area is about 123 miles from us. Let me check the other ones. I can for the basis X84 X-ray. Which one's 84 X-ray? Rama David. Okay, roger that. Oh, we did 
So Cage is the saying we can fly to 84 X-Ray, which is another airfield, but they'll have weapons if we want to get some more weapons. We'll wait for uh, one to come back in the galley seat, kids. <laughs> Let's see where this Delta Swarm 32 is. That's a right, fucking way out there. Air to ground hard, 64 units. That's at Delta Victor 09. Let's see here. Where is Delta Victor 09? Should be somewhere over here. All right, you boys there. Roger hey, that. We're here. Uh, we were just confirming we can't. We can only get gas here. No weapons. But I was looking at uh, Deep Strike, which isn't that far from us. It's Delta Victor. Um, and it's got, let's see, Delta Victor, Deep Strike. It's got 84 units over there to shack. And it's only, uh, let me get the distance for us right now. And I'll tell you how far it is. Okay. Did we figure out how to get this damn uh, message off the screen? Not yet, but scratch that Delta Victor. That's 200 and 212 nautical miles from here. Um, because we won't be able to put bags on here. Just fuel. It will not let us rearm and refuel. No, uh, bags we can't put on. We okay, bag bags we can't bags. put on. Got you. No weapons. Say so we just grab some bags and then hit the nearest airfield we can rearm at. Yeah. Just burn over there. Yeah, it's that's what he said. 84 X-ray, right? Yeah, 84 X-ray. It's going to be what, 71 miles. Yep, 71 miles. Okay, let's do that. Let's put, if it's only 74 miles, I'm just going to, you know, refill the bag that I got in. Or you don't even need to refill anything. Just refill your plane and 74 miles. We can get there, land, and then get everything that we need. How do we know this place has fuel? I mean, weapons. I know. It's for sure we got the plan. Just over. It's me and these. He said he knows because he plays on the server all the time, so he's familiar with it. So you want to do that one? Yeah, we got um just fuel up top off top off with what we got and um head on over there. Yeah, Roger that. I'm getting refilled right now. I'm going to go ahead and get that TACAN in there. Yeah, and that basically we have unlimited weapons, so we don't have ammo with it. Okay, I got 84 X-ray in. It is basically on the heading of, uh, let's see here, uh, one nine or zero for 71 miles. You said 84 X-ray? Yes. Yep, 84 X-ray. And once you put it in, you'll confirm on your HSI with your TACAN that it is 71.1 uh, miles from here on the heading of one nine or zero. Yeah, I concur. Man, I shut down and I'm still getting that damn uh, Mark Point 501 down. Let me check the DED really quick, see if I can do something with that. Destination nav commands mode man bingo R VIP VR. Let's see, let's try R. Reviewing complete. Let me Google on my phone how to get mark point data out of uh, Warn Reset. Warn Reset. The Drift CO norm Warn, warn Reset switch right next to the return sequential. Got it. Yep. Just go down on the worn reset, guys, and it gets rid of it. 
That was easy. I yep. Staples money. And everybody, uh, let's see here. I, 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 I just watched the video. It was like 37 seconds on it. And it says, if someone on a multiplayer server sends it to their wingman, it goes to every F-16 in the server. Got you, got you. So four is uh, refilled and rearmed. Uh, reporting uh, 7.1 on the field, so more than enough for a 71 mile. Yeah, we can just burn over there. Yeah, I got seven, 71 on it as well. Did you drop any bombs over there, one? I dropped. I dropped one. Should be you. Um, so I have three left plus uh, times four LGBs. Okay, yeah, Roger that. Because I was looking at your right wing, but yeah, I see the one you left off, so it didn't rearm me with that one. Okay. Yeah, and I just dropped two uh, CBUs, so. Okay, Roger that. Uh, I guess let me know when everybody is uh, fueled up. More ready. Meant to say four divided by two was ready. <laughs> <laughs> or two minus two. Four times one times. <laughs> All right, one stack. We paid attention in class, both of us. <laughs> right, eight minus four is ready. <laughs> four, four minus eight is ready. <laughs> Boy, you silly. <laughs> okay, uh, four will stand fast. Why one, two, and three fall in line, and I'll pull up the rear. Because you're four, that's what you do. Yes, yeah, sir. And one, just to let you know, your air brakes are still out. Don't worry about that. I'm going to take off with them out. Watch this. Okay, roger that, senor. Just waiting on for two and three to taxi there. This Leo's taxiing out already? Yeah, he called that he was taxiing out. I'll be right behind you there, too. Was everybody not ready? I was ready. You good over there too? Good. Free to check two by seven. Five by five. Wait on you to taxi. Go ahead, two. Oh, you're back to four? Be holding uh, short of uh, two three for uh, the rest of the flight. Four. Four. We're going south, right? Correct. Okay, Roger. <coughs> Four is uh, holding short behind three. Yeah, three. There you go. Fine. 
Two's holding behind four. One, two reporting flight and uh, flights everywhere we need to be. Roger, we're uh, lining up now. Alright boys, one is uh, flight controls check, and we're going to mill power. Four. Brakes release, and nurse. Damn fast four. Okay, mill power, three, two, one. Brakes release, afterburner. Four up. Keep it in afterburner, baby. Okay, Roger. I'm uh stay only at about uh between a thousand and fifteen hundred feet. Okay, confirming to be between a thousand and fifteen hundred feet radial. Roger. Well, I guess the F-18's out front, so let's uh, play a game of follow the leader down here, shall we? Copy that. Let's go to the lights off. Alright, Cajuns, everyone's on you, brother. Eight, four, let's go a little lower, baby. Map of Earth. But I'm fixing to come out of burner. I don't know if we're gonna make it all the way in burner. Probably won't. I'm gonna wait till I get to three and then I'll come out of burner. I'm gonna meet y'all there. Oh, yeah, because money jettison all that stuff. I lost the tech in. Show forty miles. Yeah, I got thirty nine. I don't know why my tech in. Uh, it's not reporting anymore. 
It was 84 x-ray, right? Yeah, I had it in there and all of a sudden my tack end went black. Yeah, I have tack end in there. Uh, transmit receive 84 x-ray. Okay, it came back up. I was too low to get the signal. Yeah, it was. I, I got. I was too low to get the signal. That's all. Yeah, mine just did the same thing. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. I'm at 2,700 pounds of fuel already. <laughs> yeah, I'm at 33. I cut it back a little early. I'm gonna climb, get some altitude, and then I'm gonna be uh, using that altitude again to come back down. I'm at 28 miles at uh, 30, 30, what, 36? No, 3,200 pounds, so we're already at 550 knots, so we're just cruise here at 50%. Um, I think we'll be good. Copy that, same here. I'm at about 2.6, uh, going up into the clouds. I'm climbing up to Angel's 15, then I'll use the rest to come down. Money went way up there. Yeah, I'm uh, 15 miles out, and I got 3,500 pounds, and I'm doing uh, Mach 1.95 at 30,000 feet. Yeah, he jetted up. He was smart. Plus, he's light. Oh yeah, roger that. I try I tried a quick one. <laughs> Copy that too. Understood. <laughs> Can't blame me for trying. Okay guys, we're 18 out. You guys landed? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Sorry, I'm trying to match this horn. It's uh, A. Guys, we 
got the field here in sight. I don't even see any runway uh, heading numbers. Buddy spike, buddy spike. Either that I'm being targeted by something else. Let's see, we got a, yep, okay, it's off. Yeah, that was me. Ray gun, that's the appropriate call is Ray gun. Oh, Ray gun. Ray no, gun. No, you're, you're right, you're buddy spike, I'm Ray gun, meaning I'm, I'm the one that was lighting you up. Okay, roger that. I'm gonna land to the south, guys, so I'm getting ready to go to the right and do a left pattern. Once on land on runway uh, one one, and I'm taking uh, the southern runway. Looks like one two. I'm going to take on land. So uh, I'm on the downwind for runway one two, guys. Okay, four, two is going to be doing left base, continue turn, left to final for runway uh, one two. Short final for uh, two. Gears down. Money lights up. Yeah, we just straight smashed this damn thing down here like a F-18, bro. It looks like somebody's on my runway. I'm gonna sidestep over to this other runway over here. Somebody on the runway. Uh, you should be clear to land. I'm on. I'm exiting at Delta now, all the way at the end. Parking that guys. Y'all exiting left. No, we're exiting right. I'm down doing a back taxi on runway 27. Back taxi 27. Well, where y'all going? Because I'm at the other end. I'm just trying to figure out where y'all going. Okay, who's this right here? Me and Money are both on 27 getting ready to back taxi towards, uh, let's see here, do you see those facilities, uh, I'm trying to look for some common denominator, you guys see the red radio tower? I'm looking at the F-10 map, you could have just exited right and came down that, that back stretch there. 
All right, I'll make a left here and uh, meet y'all. Make a, make your next left, not on the runway, but on the taxiway. And uh, come to over there where the uh, F-18 is. I think we'll be able to sit over there. Okay, Roger that. Uh, we'll be making a left on, uh, looks like, hotel coming your way for two and four. Boy, there's a bigger ramp here if you come all the way down to my end. Uh, but I'm off just past it. Either way, you said make a left, so we're heading your way now. and We'll just tell us, I'll look for you. Roger, we're coming uh, face to face. Copy that. Hangers over there to your, will be to your right, I guess just pull in there. Right here where I'm at now? Hey, firm. Uh, it looks like another small taxiway. I don't know if we're going to fit over here. You'll fit. Okay, turn it right now. Or, or make this, yeah, make make the next one. Make the next one where I'm at. Make okay, I'm coming. You should see me now. I got you. There's a little small one, but we can fit over here. Four, two. Oh, I just see you sinking to the ground, Lee. I saw it too. Just stay to your left so you have room to turn around once you turn up in here. Copy. Pretty cool landing at these different bases I've never landed at. Okay. Hey, you're transmitting on Discord and and SRS. John, bro, tell me we can't fit. We don't. Good call on this one, Broski. Uh, if only we could fold our wings, right? Right, we got one to can. Alright, so uh, I'll say we take a look at the mission first and then rearm and uh, reload. Kirk. What do we have up? Somebody else can select it. What was it, a deep? Yeah, well, I'm going to do many things, like uh, also look at the distance of what we got here. Stand by. Okay, we've got uh, waypoint four. It's got 16 units. That's air to ground easy. Air to ground hard is waypoint 22, 64 units. Uh, deep strike is uh, 76 units. Waypoint 32. So, if somebody wants to cycle through there, let's see which one's the closest. To be honest with you. Um, so, somebody look at waypoint uh, 22. And somebody look at waypoint 32 and give me distance. 
Which one did you say? 22 is the closest or 32? It's 32. Okay, and that'll be the deep strike when you get in my cockpit and check 32 out. Or we can go to 14 is the same distance. Okay, yeah, uh, waypoint 32 is 194 miles out. Um, looks like I'm heading a 032, so that one doesn't look too bad. Waypoint 14, it's not 195. 32 is 194. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said, Wave 32 is 194 out. Yeah, but, uh, what you leave from 14 is 194. So that's the closest one? Yeah, I'll wait to see. Two waypoints are the same distance. Yeah, because 22, waypoint 22, that's 247 out. Let me check uh, waypoint 14 that has some targets there, too. Roger. Yeah, it's about, I think waypoint 32 is the best because even waypoint 14 with less targets is, is uh, 193 out. 32 is probably our best bet. And that's the deep strike, and it's got like 80-something targets, so it's target rich. Is there any place over there to land? I'll check that out here in a second. Because, I mean, if we're taking, we, we're going to have to apparently take bags, but that's only leaving us up to four bombs apiece that we'll have available to drop. So it would be nice to have somewhere over there to land and rearm. Okay, so waypoint 32, if everybody wants to go to the map, Waypoint 32 is Grid Square Delta Uniform 32. Repeat, Delta Uniform 32. Let's all check that out of the map there. Delta Uniform 32. Is it uh, north? Uh, it looks like Delta Uniform 32. Okay, it is pretty much... Uh, where are we at here? Let's see. We were in Beirut. Yeah, it's going to be northeast from where we're at. And uh, look, there's there's a uh, there's a Reaper over it right now. It's by Palmy Palmyra. You got it. You see there? It's by Palmyra. I'm looking for Delta Uniform first. I see Delta Sierra. Hey guys, I'm gonna switch to a Hornet here. Okay. Roger. That. I see Delta Romeo, 35. The town's Pamira, the and there's a, there's a Reaper over it now. They're all called Pontiac 1-1, but there's a Reaper right over the area. And it's pretty much, there's a town right there, and there's a base that's called Pal okay. Palmyra. Yeah, I see it, but is that a neutral? Well, I doubt it's neutral. I just... I no, man, I just clicked on the base. It it's showing uh, Coalition Red. That's a red base. Right, right. But I wanted us to get orientated to where the target area was first. Then we can look for the closest base. That's so look at base. That's force base. So. Look at Tias. What about Tias? Tias is neutral, so they'll probably only have fuel. Okay, let's keep looking. I'll look at Shay, Shay Rat. Hang on. That's neutral as well. Alcazar is neutral. All to the west is neutral. All the way to the coast along that line is neutral. Uh, to the north, Hama is neutral. Uh, Saint Al Assad is neutral. So yeah, basically we're going to be full of full of fuel going over that way, and we don't really have any super close base over there so I mean it's your call one and it's stupid because all of the tankers are no help like they're off the coast right we'd be better off coming back here to land if you go to B.14 we can go to the Chile base we're gonna be then about 100 miles from the answers nothing what do you think one that It's either that or uh, we just shut them down here and call it a day.
Yeah, I don't know, man. That is a little irritating here. Um, and there's nothing. What is this over? Uh, okay, so if you look to the northeast of that area, towards uh, back towards um, what is this? Uh, Bravo, Victor. There's some more uh, missions over there towards the coast. You'll see two more Pontiac drones up above them. Yeah, roger that. Roger that. I'm there now. I see. Yep, I see the two Reapers. Uh, you got one just over Shack Sh Sugar, and then you got another drone right over Marat Uman. So yeah, what's, what are those? Let's see. That's Brick Bravo Victor. Let me look in the F-10 and see what that is. Well, what is uh, Waypoint 14 um, that looks to be back up? And the one to the northwest of that is Waypoint 4, both air to ground. But I was thinking, what if we just, can we still spawn at Al-Assad and just take off and go that way? Uh, that's a good, that's a good thing, yeah, because on here, Waypoint 14, only, it's got 13 units only, so I don't know if we all want to go over there just to shack 13 units, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, Waypoint 14's got 13 units, and that is where you're talking about, Bravo Victor 84. Yeah, and what about the other one, Waypoint 4? Waypoint 4, yep, Bravo Victor 56, so between those two, yeah, we got about, uh, 30 targets over there, I think... I think we should head over there, and then the tankers ain't so far out. Well, in that case, I say we just respawn. Oh man, I've been in this baby so long. I don't know if I could do that. That is just break my heart, man. We didn't, we didn't been to, we didn't, we didn't had a bond, man. We need to be like realistic. We need to fly over there and get it, get it done. Yeah, I get you on that, but we're talking about for stream and time's sake. Yeah, we don't even have um, Al Assad base anyway so we couldn't even spawn there if we wanted i don't know man stream is already at uh three and a half hours i might just go ahead and call it homie yeah that's what i'm thinking too bro it's a little frustrating we flew uh we flew all the way down there but <clears throat> shit was already taken out you know yeah, and that's the way the cookie crumbles, and like I said, that's a, for future reference, we'll double check the F-10 after we come off that fuel, do a little orbit in, around, the, you know, the tanking area, and then pick it up, because either way we go, bro, it's going to be a, a journey there, we're going to have to worry about fuel, two bags or not, and then the tankers, I just don't like how they have them all right there. So I we, mean, do we decide on the uh, weapons load here? Well, we're, we're deciding if we're even going to continue to stream, because everything is just so far off. Gotcha. What do you think, one? I'm trying to see now where exactly we're at. Yeah, we're way down south. Um, that would require us to freaking fly along the coast way back up north and even hit the tanker. We would have to tank again, for sure, because our base is uh, <laughs> north of the tankers. <laughs> Or we can go to the of the base and we hit the target because it's from the target to the end of the mouse yeah, yeah. to the base. Or we can go back to hit That's Beirut because okay. this place is north of Beirut. He's always welcome, baby. He can always. Um, yeah, that's, that's the only thing I can see. Well, Beirut is farther than the main base. What we take a little bit off. 119 miles from there and. Yeah, everything is so far. I'm thinking if we do something quick, either let's jump on rotor heads, take some helos up, or I don't think I'm going to be doing all this flying because that's for sure going to take another hour and a half just to get anything really done. Or we can jump on rotor heads and, and do, do air support, come out, and, uh, come out in a jet or something. We can. The thing about rotor heads, though, they be putting the bases like 200 something miles over there. Then you have to actually get in the F-10 menu to even call the tanker to even come around. Ah, uh, okay. You know, because I did that. You know, it 
It, 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 it like I spawned in the A10 to do support. That's like a 200 mile, 290 mile trip to get over there. And then you really be relying on them to help you try to paint some targets down there because the pictures changed by the time you got there. That'll require us to put in some Latin longs or MGRS or rely on those helos in the bottom. You know, if we wanted to do something quick, we could just jump in rotor heads real quick, man, and, and get in some Blackhawks, do some SAR and get something else in really quick. But I don't know if I really feel like flying another whole you know thing to refuel and go figure all that out man because it's been uh pretty tedious getting this far yeah i think i'm gonna call it and we had a good little training session we did get some tanking done unfortunately uh target area was already done by the time we got there but it's all good that's how it goes yeah i think like i said i still love the server i think next time now we learn the lesson if we spend that much time tanking before we go to the objective we just check the f10 menu again and see what's cracking and because uh, either way, what we do, we get back up. Everyone's kind of will be full of everything, but um, it's going to take us a hot minute to get over there. And then fuel is definitely going to be an issue. Who is this guy pulling up? <laughs> That's four. Oh, no, I thought that, I thought you was on the other. Oh, OK, you did say you did say you were getting in the Hornet. OK, I thought you were already parked on the other side. Yeah, boys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call it, man. I don't think I'm going to be uh, flying back and doing all that. It was awesome. And, uh, you know, lesson learned. I think next time we'll just uh, relook at the picture at the tanker. Like, while somebody's tanking, somebody else can go in the F10 menu and look at the picture. You know, and that's how we can do it without wasting any time at the, you know, coming off and orbiting. Somebody can go look at the F10 menu while they're in the left observation, check out the picture, and then we can, you know, make a determination of where we want to go next time. Yeah, Roger, I concur. You gonna shut the stream down now too? Look, we got an F-14 over here too. F-15 pulling in. Yeah, F-15 pulling in. He can be mad as a motherfucker when we all spawn out. Of Either that, if we got all these planes, if y'all want to do it, let's just get it done then. Well, look, we can make it to 190 miles without refueling, but we got to like, come out of burner and start a climb and get up to about 28,000 feet and stay up on top of the power curve and, and, and just, you know, be real miserly because what ends up happening is we end up getting slow, and when you get slow, you end up burning more fuel to, because you're behind the power curve, so your angle of attack goes up, right? But we can, if you guys take two tanks in the F-16, you go, you know, you, you'll be able to make a round trip 200 miles back and forth and be over the target area. That's why I came in the horn. I'm bigger. You know, I'm going to need to be, I can't, I can't go with the F-16 and the, with the dumb bomb, so I'm going to have to go with the, the JDAMs here. And, uh, but yeah, we, we can make it. It just takes a little bit of, uh, better fuel management. What'd you think? Yeah, man, I'm going to go and shut it down, man. I got to get my kids ready for school and spend some time with my wife. So I'm, I'm going to pull out, man, because it's already three and a half hours. It's tempting, but no, nah, I'm going to shut everything down. Yeah, Roger. All right, we'll come back at it. Uh, we'll definitely come back at it, um, you know, one day this week. I'll be probably back on it uh, Friday. So I don't know what we got planned uh, for Friday, Dre, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, for sure, man. I just, uh, yeah, I got to balance this between everything else I got to do. So I'm going to just go ahead and shut my plane off in the stream. And I want to give a big thanks to everybody who was flying with, man. It's been real. Yeah, definitely agree. Always, always. We'll get it next time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So big up to y'all, man. I'm going to shut the plane off in the stream. And I'll get with y'all boys here in the next day or so. And we'll see what's cracking. Roger, same here. Okay, four shutting down. All right, everybody, we shut our aircraft down. We are done for the day. Let's uh, go ahead and end the stream out with some little music. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm your boy Dre. Thanks for uh, flying with your boy, and we gonna call it. I'm gone, y'all. Happy Sunday.
pick up any better than that. Say fuck or anything. It just was good flying with you. Leo, great. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna bounce. I'll see y'all later. Yeah. Discord is still on, you gotta disconnect the call to so you know. Where do you go?